Hello, bonjour, good day. Are you okay? I am well. I am fine. Are you enjoying your day? I hope you're enjoying it. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now we are going and growing and growing. We have been talking about putting together, adding, how many are there, the sum, plus. Now we want to go to the real numbers. Huh? We did numbers. We did numbers? Yes. We wrote numbers. And we know our numbers from number one to even a hundred. Yes. So today we want to add using counters. We said what is addition? Addition means put together. Just put together. This and this put together. That is what simply addition is. So for example, I've been given here a number like four plus three. And then we said, which sign do we put here? Equals two. Now we want to use counters to do this work of ours. How do we use counters? You can see my table has different counters. I have balls, I have straws, I have cards. It is you to decide which counters do you want. Which counters do you want? For me, I want to use here the straws. I want to use the straws. Now they have said here four straws. Uh -huh. Four straws on this side. Ah, very nice, very nice. So, we're talking about four straws there. And on the other side, we're talking about three straws. On the other side, we're talking about three straws. Uh -huh. Are you seeing our straws? Yes, they're well aligned. Then you're being told, we are adding this and we said, what does addition mean? Addition means put together. So let's count our straws. My counters are here. One, we go. One, where is our pointer? Our pointer should be somewhere in our class. So look here. We have one, two, three, four. And on the other side we have one, two, three. So how many do we have all together? We count the total number of counters we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four plus three is equals to seven. Four plus three is equals to seven. Teacher, try and do five plus three. Is that something to give you trouble? No, I want to use different counters. Mm -hmm. Now here I want to use my cards. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How many cards are I supposed to have here? Five cards. I'm supposed to have here five cards. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, how many cards am I supposed to have? Three cards. So my five cards are here. My five cards are here. You see the way they're colorful? Which means I love colorful things, huh? I love colorful things. Uh -huh. On the other side, on the other side, how many counters do I have? How many counters do I have? I have, they have said you must have three, three counters. So let's count the total number of counters do we have all together so we said they have said five plus three equals two dash so let's count our counters one two three four five and on the other side one two three so let us find out how many counters do we have all together one two three four five six seven eight so five plus three is equals to eight five plus three equals to eight teacher i want to do something else i give them work i'll give you work so here you have three plus two three plus two now janet come and count using the balls so janet is here 
Teacher, how many balls am I supposed to have on one side? Look at the board. Uh huh. Three balls. Very good. Uh huh. And on the other side, how many balls? Look at the board. Three. Is it three? No. Two balls. So let us count. Uh huh. How many balls? How many do we have all together? We have three balls and two balls. Let's count the total number of balls we have. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So how many balls did you have all together? Five balls. So during your free time, let's practice doing four plus two. Practice doing three plus three. Practice doing one plus five. But do you know I forgot to tell you something. In addition, there are rules that always govern. They help us remember some things. Can you remember the rule for zero? Any number when you add to zero, what do you get? At six. This is not a ball. This is a zero. And what does a zero mean? Nothing. Zero means nothing. So any number when you add to zero. So it's like when I add one to nothing, what do I have? I have one. I have one masking tape here. And in this hand, I have nothing. So zero is nothing. So I have one masking tape here. And zero is, and on this other hand, there is nothing. So how many masking tapes do I have in my hand? It is only one. So when you're adding numbers and you're given any number plus nothing, this is nothing. Zero is nothing. Any number plus nothing, it is that number. So class, if I'm told six plus zero, it will be six. Eight plus zero, it will be six. Someone is whispering there, even a thousand. Yes, even a thousand plus zero, it's just a thousand. It cannot change. A teacher, why can't we add that zero to a thousand so that it becomes 10,000? Who said that? Zero plus one thousand is one thousand. So remember this, any number plus a zero is that number. Three plus a zero, whether the number will start and a zero comes the second is that number. Eight plus a zero is that number. So have you learned something? So in future, when I ask you eight plus zero, don't tell me eight, nine, no. Zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. So it was nice having you around and I hope to continue seeing you in the next lesson as we explore more methods on addition. Remember we have several of them that you need to know. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.